Hello everyone, welcome to another how-to video with Senior Fiddlesticks. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and get running the new Aether 2 for Minecraft 1.7.10. Yes, it's finally here, the long-awaited release, so I'm super excited, and I hope you are too, and let's get this going. So as you can see, I've already downloaded the three required files here. Um, and in case you're wondering, I'm running Ubuntu. This is not Windows 7 anymore like I used to run. I've actually got frustrated with Windows and got rid of it. So I'm using Ubuntu 14.10. But um, this is still Chrome that I'm using, the Chrome browser. And you can, of course, follow these instructions for Windows and even for a Mac. It should be pretty much the same, pretty similar, no matter what you're running. So the first thing we're going to do is download these three files right here. You just click the little download buttons. You'll see them download. Aether will take the longest. It's the biggest file. And then locate your downloads folder. So in Windows, that's going to be under your profile name. For Windows 7, it'll be like if your name is um, Steve the Unicorn, then your profile is going to be your C drive or your main drive, um, users, folder called users and the folder called Steve the Unicorn and then inside that folder um, there should be a downloads folder. Um, so just look at your downloads folder. Here's mine. I've got it open here. So as you can see I've got the Aether uh, jar file, Forge jar file, the Forge installer, and this Gilded Games Util jar file. So the first thing we're going to do is install Forge 1.7.10 and this is the latest installer for 10.13.2.12.91 and I have already installed this, so now if you're running Ubuntu and you try to go in and, and run a jar right when you download it, it's going to give you a warning that says it's blocked. Basically that just means the file is, they're, they're trying to be safe and secure and they don't want it to be executed without your permission. So I just go into properties of that file and I change the execute little box here to say allow executing and just click close and then I can execute that file. So here we go. So as you can see, it's um, looking in my home folder, my my username in a Windows machine. It's probably going to say something like users and then your name dot Minecraft. And so I'm just going to click OK. And it has already installed this forge, so I'm not sure what it will say. OK, so good. So it said um, successful. Click OK. And then the next thing we're going to do is create a profile for this version of Aether to run in. So I'm going to launch up my Minecraft here. Okay, perfect. So I got Minecraft running. I'm going to create a new profile. We're going to call this Aether2 or II. And then you'll want to check this little box that says Game Directory. And in here, just create a special folder. So the only thing I do is I change this .minecraft to a different name. So I'm going to actually... Um, I have a special little folder system set up that I'm using, that I'm doing. So I'm just going to go here and say, instead of .minecraft, this is going to be Minecraft Profiles slash. And another weird thing between um, Linux and Mac is the same with Linux, actually, because they're both based on a Unix file system, is it's forward slashes, but in Windows it's backslash. So just uh, make that adjustment for whatever operating system you're running. So I'm going to do profiles, and then I'm going to do, we're going to call this Aether II for Aether 2. And so put it in a folder by itself, and then under use version, we're going to choose the forge version that we just installed. And there it is. So it's 1710, forge, 1013, 2, 1291. And that's it, and I click save profile. So there I have it, and if it doesn't show it, just find it in your list, select it, and click play. And by clicking play that first time, it's going to create the folder. You see it just appeared here. And then inside that folder, um, we'll go inside there, you'll see it's creating the other folders needed for that profile to run correctly. So it's creating config and saves and mods and all that good stuff. So basically we just want to load it up to this next screen right here. And we're ready. So now I can click quit game. And I go inside the mods folder of that A through 2 folder that was just created. And of course it's empty, so I'm going to jump over to my downloads folder. And I'm just going to drag and drop the Aether and the Gilded Games Util, those two files. 
what I can do is click one and then hold control down, click the other one, and then just drag and drop them right into that mods folder. So there they are. Now that they're in the mods folder, I can go ahead and close that, close my downloads folder, launch up Minecraft again, and we should be good to go and have Aether 2 for 1.7.10 locked and loaded. <laughs> okay, so Aether 2, play. The suspense is killing me. This is going to be amazing. Okay, Mojang, drum roll please. Alright, now before we had three mods, now it says six mods. Let's see what mods are loaded. Check it out. Threaded Lightning, Gilded Games, Aether 2. And what's this? Oh, there it is, Aether 2. Sweet. So you'll notice these little arrows appeared that let me choose between the Aether Launcher and the Minecraft Launcher. And there it is. I can launch up Aether in 1.7.10. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it easy and simple and straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, your likes are appreciated. And, of course, subscribes are appreciated as well. And I will be doing more how-to videos, and I'm also starting a brand new Let's Play series. So... Hope you uh, learned a lot from this, and I'll see you in the next video.